Hey guys, it's Miss S, and I'm talking to you uh, specifically cohort R about the assignment for today. So number one, um, if you are periods four, five, or eight, um, feel free to join a live Google Meet today. And in that Google Meet, um, you can do what we're doing today as a class with us as a class. I definitely encourage it. But if you're someone that's like, I got my job, or I got to take care of my siblings, or I want to do like the normal remote where I get to just watch my video on my own time and submit the um, assignment, then this video is for you. Um, so we are doing, if you look, it'll say Friday, the hill we climb by Amanda Gorman. Um, we were actually going to watch, um, not watch. We were actually going to analyze and annotate my last Duchess, Duchess by Robert Barrett Browning. Um, but instead I switched it because yesterday I'm obviously recording this on Thursday. So Wednesday, um, was the inauguration day. And at the inauguration, there was a young woman who actually performed a poem for the nation. And I thought it was perfect to just switch it up for the, a short, um, day and, talk about the poem that she performed and what that poem means if it's right into our unit. And I thought it was just a great idea. So we're going for it. Um, when you look at today's assignment, there's two different things. The first is a PDF that you can open with Kami. So once you open it, it looks like this. You don't need that right away. And the second is a Google doc. Your Google doc is pretty much instructions. Um, but it's also got some places that you kind of have to take notes to. So if you open up our Google doc, it looks like this. And as you guys know, um, you can, like I just said, you can join the live Google Meet for today's activity and participate in it. There's a little difference between what we're doing in person and what you're doing today by yourself on this video. So if you want to see what we're doing in person, please come. I want you to know that this is a quiz grade, just like any other time that we annotate and analyze a poem, um, because this takes a lot of thought and a lot of effort. So you should get the points for it when you put in that effort and that thought. Uh, the first thing you're going to do is click this hyperlink, this blue area right here, and it'll open up a YouTube and you can watch a video. It'll pop up like this. And this is a short... For like, uh, okay, uh, random ad, but in the video, it looks like the poem goes for six minutes. It doesn't, you'll know when you watch it, it ends, um, with some clapping and stuff. So it ends right around like five thirty something. So you don't have to listen all the way. So the first time you listen to this poem, you just want to listen to it to enjoy it. Um, in English class, we do a lot of work of like analyzing and finding meaning and picking apart for literary devices. And sometimes we need to just take a step back and enjoy the things that we're reading. So listen to the poem and just enjoy it. Um, try to figure out kind of what it's saying, but no stress if you're like, this vocab is hard. I don't, it's six minutes. I'm confused. It took too long. My brain's confused. I need a break, blah, 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 blah. I know how it gets. Um, so pay attention to the parts that you can pay attention to, um, tune into the parts that you tune into and just do your best to just enjoy the poem the first time around. Now, the second time around, um, there's something else you have to do. So our third step says open up that PDF file attached to the assignment titled Amanda Gorman, the hill we climb. So if you look at our Google classroom, you see it right here, Amanda Gorman, the hill we climb, you click that, you want to open it with Kami, either with this button or the drop down, and it will look like this. Now, what you're going to do, and it says this in the directions as well, you're going to replay this poem. So you're going to click back to the beginning and start it all over again. But instead of watching her perform the poem this time, you're going to have this screen open. And you're just going to listen to her speak and read along because this is the actual poem that she recites at the inauguration. 
So every time the goal here that I want you to do is every time that there is a phrase, meaning not a complete sentence, maybe just a couple words or a sentence that speaks to you, you're going to underline or highlight it, whatever works best for you. So what does that mean? It means you hear something and you're like, dang, that sounds good. I don't know why, or maybe I do know why because it makes me feel this way, or maybe it's um, it makes me think. Anything that kind of speaks to you and, and stops you for a second is what you're going to underline and highlight. You can use the markup. This is the text highlighter and this is the underliner. So let's say I'm using the text highlighter. And I know for me, one of the first things I underlined was this line for me ah, not that one i lied this one we've learned that quiet isn't always peace that was the first line that i underlined i was like whoa that's super powerful so i i highlighted or underlined it in class you're going to do the same thing you're going to listen to the whole poem and underline every time that there's something that speaks to you as an example i had 12 underlines um, my co-teacher had 13 i had students who had like six and i had students who had like 15, 16 too. So you're just doing it every time again, the line or the phrase speaks to you. It doesn't need to be a full sentence. I also know that I only highlighted this part. Just is, isn't always just is, not a full sentence. So every time you're moved, you will highlight and underline. Then you're going to go to step four, which is right here. You're going to ask yourself these questions that you see right here about why you highlighted and underlined the lines that you did. Um, and you're going to just write down right here. It doesn't need to be full sentences, but it's, it's your thoughts. Like you're going to go back and switch between the two tabs and go, okay, well, it's not about the specific lines, but your lines in general. What did they do for me? Why did I highlight them? How did they speak to me? There's a couple different reasons that some people in class picked. I don't want to say them here because you're probably going to have the same ones. Um, so I'm going to wait till I read them. Afterwards, your last step is the what is the meaning of this poem? So in class, we have looked at the natural pieces of a poem, pulled them apart in order to analyze them for meaning. In our sonnet, we looked at each quatrain and then the couplet to define each quatrain and then the couplet for meaning. In our Wandered Lonely as a Cloud, we looked at each stanza and we defined that for meaning. In this poem, we're trying a whole, diff whole different process. Instead, we're looking more at how the poem resonates with us and how the poem makes us feel feel in order to construct meaning because that is just as important just as vital to poetry so once you've done the rest of the steps you're going to have a lot of these lines that you've highlighted some thoughts down about why those lines mean something to you and you'll go back and realize that a lot of the lines have some same main idea going on that you've highlighted so that main idea that you have in those lines that you've highlighted and underlined and your thoughts here is what you're going to write down what is the meaning of the poem you're going to tell me about it I would say this would make take, maybe take you like two to three sentences um, if you're going really thorough and want like a really good grade, four to five, but that's what we're doing today. Like I said, you can tune in and join us in class because we're also going to do like a reading process that unfortunately just not something I can create virtually um, on a video, but I think this is the closest thing we can get to what we're doing and um, to the way this works. So as always, let me know if you have any questions or need anything. See you guys.